Hi, welcome to Using Self-Compassion to Improve Well-Being and Growth. This is an introduction to the work. Now, my name is Ed Seipler and I work for the Southeastern Health and Social Care Trust. Now, what we did in this work was we put together a workbook. Now, the workbook is introducing people to self-compassion and we've been using it now for, for a few months. But what we'll be doing in these series of clips is introducing you to self-compassion, what's in the booklet, the evidence behind it, but more important, to give you an opportunity to watch the exercises, listen, and rather than read them, watch them on here. Now, why we did this, we did a workshop on the 27th of, of April this year, 2023, where we introduced it. We have 50 people at the workshop. They told us that 90% of people said, as much as we'd like to read it, we'd like to watch it as well. So that's why we put this material on both a page tagger and then a series of YouTube clips. So you can just do that. Now we recognize some people would get it, do it well by reading it. Other people would like rather watch it. So we do hope you find this series of clips helpful. Now, getting the most from this work. This is an introduction to self-compassion. It's not a complete course. How you use it is entirely up to you. It is a workbook and it's work. It's going to involve some effort on your part to get the most out of it. If you see a word and it throws you a bit and you don't understand it, read it over a couple of times. Talk about your learning, look stuff up, ask questions. Go slowly through the exercise. Monitor your progress. And we'll have a tool later on we'll share with you how to do that it's in, the, in the workbook. If you feel you've opened up part of you that causes more distress, your symptoms tend to get a bit worse or you're struggling, stop. Don't push yourself. That's a good opportunity for you to go talk to a professional. And your GP might be a good point, point of contact. This work is not a quick fix. Any, any work like this takes effort and reputation to build anything but self-compassion into positive habits. Now, if you start and your practice lapses, well, it may, that happens. Notice any self-criticism. Recognize any barriers or blockages that any of us could have. And remind yourself of the pleasure and benefit from this work and getting back on track is a gift you, you could give yourself. We really do hope you find this helpful. So we'll have a series of clips that will ground you in this work while we're doing it, but then work you through the exercises. And repetition is key to changing any habits, including the way we talk to ourselves. So what we'll do in the next clip is take a deeper dive. What is self-compassion, the evidence behind it, and how you can get the most out of this work. But thank you for starting this work. We hope these short clips give you an opportunity to go beyond just reading the work in the workbook and putting self-compassion into practice. Thanks very much.